Hello boys and girls, welcome to part 4 of the Magnuson Supercharger install on the Jeep Wrangler JL, you know what, it's in the title. Today I actually install the supercharger and do most of the connections. It's not done yet, but getting very very close. So come on guys, I need you to subscribe, like and comment. It really helps the channel out. Well, really me, I'm the channel. So yeah, enjoy! Okay, as always, using lube on the O-rings. This sensor goes here. It's got its own kind of cutout. Okay. Okay, here, this little 8 mil bolt will go in here hold the AIT sensor and that's all that I could find these little Allen bolts and they fit right in these torque down to six Newton meters you might as well switch the oil caps the new one provided it's a bit smaller and we are ready for the supercharger just gonna make sure I have everything good over here on this end, on this side of the engine. That everything is connected. Not loose. Okay, that should be alright. That's connected. Okay, now the supercharger needs to sit on this and this, these two spots here. It is kind of heavy. Not too bad, all right. Okay, two biggest bolts you can find in the set. It's gonna go in a few threads. I'm gonna install this bracket first. It's getting tight. Was I supposed to get rid of this plastic? I don't remember. Let's see if that bracket will fit. Okay, let's see if this bracket is going to fit. Yes, it will. Use short 15s for these. Okay, so it is actually easier to tighten up those two 15s and then install the bracket. Okay, 45 Newton meters is 33.2. Okay, before I connect any of these vacuum hoses and the brake booster line and all that, I'm gonna skip to the next uh, few steps until I'm gonna do these until I'm done installing the EGR valve here. I might as I probably could do this. This is the brake booster here. This hose that uh, got installed, you just run it underneath the, it's like almost, it's not long enough. What's going on over there? Okay, this we're gonna zip tie later, and this we're gonna install later. The okay, next is to remove the supercharger pulley. Looks like these are on glue. Okay, 
this bracket goes right underneath where the pulley used to be on the supercharger okay and using this this is a 16 you're gonna have to use a, a wrench And these will torque down to 18.4 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, install both pulleys. The outside, you can see how diff this only has, this is like a smooth surface here. This one doesn't. So that goes on the outside. Same torque on the pulleys, 18.4. Okay, install the set screw, put blue Loctite on the set screw. Okay, back to the supercharger pulley, apply blue Loctite. This will get torqued down once the belt is on. All right, now back to the air cooler. It's going back to its home. These little guys also get blue Loctite. Okay, so these torque down to six newton meters, but my torque range doesn't go as low as it goes. It's 5.0 foot pounds of torque, which is 6.8 nms. So I'm just gonna go 6.8. No real torque sequence, but you can still start from the middle and work your way out. Okay, these have still lubrication from before. Just push these in, and this is the first time you're installing these tubes. Just make sure you put oil on the O-rings. Seven point four. Okay, now this step is entirely up to you. If you want to use RTV between the gaskets and the supercharger and the upper intake, just to keep the gaskets in place. I won't be doing that. You got a very nice visual. As you put the cover on, you can should be able to see where it actually goes. Alright, so there's three different types of bolts. You got short ones, which is marked in yellow, which for me were already in this one, this one, and this one, but I took this one out to show you how short it is. So these short little guys go here, here, and here. So next size up is the all around outside bolts. They're a little bit lower, uh, longer than these, but shorter than these. Now these third size up, they go here where the green dots 
circles are. And the longest one go in these two. Okay, so they all tighten up to 10, which in foot pounds is 7.4. And this is the sequence. I'm just gonna tighten them up a little bit. Some of these are loose. Okay, one. Okay, before I install this coolant tank here, I need to fix this mess up a, little bit, a bit. So this short hose, take it off this Y pipe here from the stack line and install it here. See if I can actually install this bracket here. All right, I guess this one steel or aluminum hose will tube, I should say, will be mounted, which is always something. Okay, that, that's gonna be all right. Let's put the clamp on before I mount the tank.
Maybe I should position the clamp up so it's accessible from the top. Same for this one, turn it around. So take that EGR valve out of the stock intake manifold. There is a brown O-ring provided. O-ring goes onto the supercharger side. It's a bit small, I can see. That may be a challenge there. Okay, stay. Ha! Ah, nice! Oh man, now it's gonna be tough to align that. These two torque down to 8.9 foot-pounds and as you can see this is not aligned so we need to make it align not putting the gaskets in yet still making it align All right, we're using the factory gasket. These are also Time for the support bracket. These are 12 mil. And these two bottom ones are 10 mil. Oh yeah, now that I'm looking at it, it's okay to reinstall this vacuum hose. I'll just leave it on top there. Throttle body, make sure it's clean. If you have a used Jeep with, you know, 20 miles or so, clean the throttle body. Use the new bolts. I almost used the, well, I tried using the factory ones. They're not gonna work. 8.9 on these foot-pounds. Go across. Do a two-step. So we got a problem. Clearly this is not gonna work, this lovely push pin. 